All right, number one. Morgan? Very good. X equals negative 3. Very good. Tanner, number 2. Uh, X equals negative 7. That is correct. Number 3. Yes, Megan. X equals negative 10. That is correct. Number 4. Sam. X equals positive 4. That is correct. And number 5. Camden? X equals 5. Nailed it. All right, number 1. Let's look at this one. Uh, so you've got this x minus 9 equals negative 12. So what you're going to do is we've got to get rid of this minus 9 garbage, right? Well, see how it's minus? We're going to make it a plus, and it's just the same number. But we've got to do it on both sides of the line. So negative 12 plus 9 would give you negative 3. The x is just x. As it equals, this all became a 0. So it kind of got taken away. It went away. We turned it into a phantom 0. And what we're left with is x equals negative 3. There's 15 students in the class that belong to a social network. The 15 students is 75, uh, 3 fourths of the class. So to find out how many students are in the class, take the 15 students and divide it by the 3 fourths. Done. And you would find that there are 20 students. 20 students. Okay, so last time we were solving problems like this. 4x equals uh, 32. What is the value of x? 8, right? Well, how, do you, how would you solve this? Yes, Caleb? There you go, right? Take 32 divided by 4, right? All you're doing is taking the constant and dividing it by the coefficient. Okay? Well, today is no different. All right? So what you're going to see is something like this. So the numbers are going to look slightly different. You'll notice the difference right, the difference right away. You're going to have 0.4x equals 3.2. Well, how do we solve? Well, you're going to take the coefficient of x and divide it right here. That's a point 0.4. And be done. Bam. X is 8. Let's do 1.44 equals uh, 0.12x. Well, now we have these decimals, let's make that a 0 0.12 because that makes it more awesome, I suppose. Uh, so what is the coefficient of x? <laughs> Sierra? 0.12. We're going to just divide it over here. And then put that in the calculator. 1.44 divided by 0.12 gives us x equals 12. Okay, see these are the kind that uh, make people, you know, go a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So what we have is, uh, let's take uh, 0 0.3x equals, I don't know, uh, 0.48. Okay, 0 0.48. Well, what would we do here? It's other way around. What's the coefficient of x? 0.3. Very good. It's 0 0.3, so I divide that right here, right? 0 0.3 divided. It's point. 
0 0.48 divided by 0 0.3. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Uh, point, uh, point one six? One point six. Thank you. Thank you. One point six. Okay. Uh, so x here is one point six. Well, that's not any different, right? So let's take this back. What you will find is different is this. Right now, it's so much more difficult. Jess says it's especially more difficult. Okay. And what are we going to do? Nothing, nothing is different. Okay. What's the coefficient OX? Negative 0 0.3. We're going to divide it right here. Negative 0 0.3. How many negatives does we have? One. One is odd, so the answer is a... Negative. Now, thank goodness, I can ignore that negative, and it looks much easier to do. And we have 0 0.48 divided by 0 0.3, which is 1.6. Negative 1.6 is the answer. Well, if we look at this example, there's not even a decimal in it, right? Wrong. 4 fifths x equals 24. Okay. Well... This one still is no different, folks. What's the coefficient of x? Four, four fifths. Just take it and put it over here and divide. Four fifths. Well, some of you realize there's a problem there. Can we divide by a fraction? No, we cannot. So let's multiply. But when we multiply, what do we have to do with the fraction? You got to reciprocate it or flip it or... Reciprocate it, which would then give us 5 fourths. Well, now we need 24 to be a fraction. What's 24 times 5? 120. What's 1 times 4? Four? 4. So x equals, uh, we, we really need to simplify this, folks. 30. Well, some of you are going to collapse under the pressure here. You're going to see that there's two fractions and a negative. What may be even worse is some of you may see something like this. It makes the, it's, it's the positive in the answer. The answer will be positive now. That's what I said. You stumbled. Is that okay? All right. Listen. Just because there's many negatives and there's more fractions, the concept is still the same, all right? So, well, what's the coefficient OX? Negative 9 elevenths. So we're going to take this negative 9 elevenths, right? You've got this negative 81 once. You're just going to divide it by the negative 9 elevenths. Well, we can't divide fractions, so let's uh, fix this up. And while we're fixing this up, let's look at the number of negatives. How many negatives be there? Two. Two, Two is even, so the answer is a positive. positive. I can just ignore these, okay? Mm -hmm. So I've got 81 over 1. Now it's multiplied by 11 ninths. And some of you last time said that we can cross-simplify this. So that'd be a niner, and that's a one. So the answer is x equals nine tenths and nine ones. Let's look in the polls. They're so much different than the ones that we just did. Coefficients. Who does not know what a coefficient is? Allie, you don't know what it is? Yes. All right example. How would I solve this example? What, what am I going to do? Megan? Very good. It's just 16 divided by 0 0.25, which is 64. N equals 64. Done. You can look at it like this as well. 
and it's so much fun. Okay. Examples. Do these examples. All right, Jess thinks she can do a. Okay, so I did six point four divided by point eight, and I got um, eight m equals eight. That's my first. I wish you'd make that harder. <laughs> All right, Caleb will do B. What the heck? All right, Bridger will do B. I'm probably wrong, but you know, who cares? Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so do I have to show my work or can oh, I just yeah. do? Oh, <laughs> Okay, so you do. Er, ignore that. So you do that. Div so you divide 40. You forty point two four point two divided by negative two point eight, and then I got negative one and one half equals p. Okay, very good. All right, uh, thank you, Bridger. Right. So you guys need to avoid mixed numbers ever again. The decimal would be fine. Uh, in that case, it would be negative 1.5p, okay? Equals p, rather. All right, does that make sense, Bridger? Yeah. Your answer is good. So, questions? All right, Swayze is going to do C for us, please. Okay, so, you divide, you cross out that, and you divide those, which equals... Negative 2.3, so negative 2.5 <laughs> equals K. Very good. Questions? Wait, Mr. Shaw, I forgot something. What? Let me see it. Oh, Wait, it shouldn't be negative. Yeah. Ignore that. Ignore that. Did I get it right? Is that an N or an H? <laughs> Very good. That's a wise thing to write. Um, all right, so some of you are saying yes, that the negative should be gone there, right? Yeah, it's gone. So K equals 2.3. Very good. All right, uh, here's a word problem to confuse you and uh, make you quit. Uh, look. Jay's coach agreed to buy ice cream for everyone. Uh, now it's $2.40 for each ice cream cone, but the coach only has 30 bucks. So we need to find out how many cones that the coach can buy. So how many, well, we don't know how many, but we're going to find out how many cones the coach can buy. Yes, X members, that's very good. So that's true, let's replace... How many cones is x? So we need to write an equation. Let's write the equation first. There's two ways you can do this. Uh, first of all, you've got $2.40 per cone. So we're going to multiply that by the number of cones. Should equal something like 30 bucks. OK? Because that's how much dollars he has. So to solve this, what do we do? you got x equals 30 divided by 2.40. This is also another form of the equation, and you'd get x equals 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Can you buy half a cone? No. Yes. Oh, so he can buy a total number of how many cones? 12. 12 cones. The nice thing about this is if you put 12 on the test, it's wrong. What's 12 cones? You must label it 12 cones. Peyton's going to do this one for you. There you go. No talking. You can do it. Hear your voice on YouTube. What? I put these on YouTube. Yeah. This is hard to write on. I also put them on uh, canvas. Wait, wait. How do you erase it? So it's recorded. How do you erase? And they can hear my voice. They don't want to. Um. I see. I see where you.
She's doing it up there. If you look at... <laughs> None of you can see the iPad. Look at the board. Mm. <laughs> Divided by... Oh my goodness. Two, three... That was huge. Eighty equals sing sing equals fifteen. All right, thank you, Peyton. Very good. This is twelve uh, forty-two dollars divided by two eighty per, per cone will give you the number of cones. Just uh, make sure you label this like Peyton has done, which is also excellent. All right, so at the beginning, we talked about fraction coefficients. Can you divide by the fractions? We had divide, and then uh, since you can't divide by fractions, change them uh, into multiplication by taking the reciprocal, all right? So, so notice this one. You've got the 12 over 20. You're going to divide it by 3, folks. Well, 12 over 20 is good. But we can't divide by a fraction, so let's change it to multiplication. Four thirds. So these a one and a four and a five and a one. Four fifths. All right, Aubrey's gonna do E, please. That's a good one. Are you explaining? Oh, well, you bring two over here, and you have to do the reciprocal because you can't divide it. So you multiply it, and that'd be 8 times 2 is 16, and 1 times 1 is 1. So. Good job. Excellent work. All right, Carly's going to do F. Okay, so you need to do 9 over 1 to multiply it by the reciprocal, which is negative 4 over 3. Then you can cross simplify. And you get negative 12 over 1. So x equals negative 12. Bam. Excellent. Well, here's the thing is if you do it with a calculator, you just have to show work. Yep. All right, Sam is going to do a G. Did what? Fart? <laughs> Uh, okay, so you take 21 60 fourths, and so you have, and you're going to have to multiply it by the reciprocal of 7 eighths, so I use, I use the big word there, 8 sevenths, and you're, that, you can take this down, oh, you can take all of them down, I guess, 8, 1, 1, 3, 3 times, Huh? Shut up. Three eighths. So therefore, over here. I have no room. Huh? Wait, I'm not done. I heart garbage. I'm not done. I didn't have any room. Oregano. I love oregano. Oregano. Listen, if you got six yards of fabric and it takes two thirds yards of fabric in order to make a hat, you just take six and divide it by two thirds. So as it turns out, you can make nine hats. Okay. Uh, do these five. This is very good.